Hi, in this video I will show you how to set up the Razer Hydra to its full potential for the Dolphin emulator. Therefore you will need two programs, PBJoy and the Hydra Direct Input Worker. Both can be found in the thread by Mr. Wonko on the Sixth Sense forums. To install PBJoy you will usually need to be in test mode, otherwise the unsigned drivers cannot be installed. But the setup will automatically configure this for you. So I've already installed it, but let's install it again, so you can see the process. After the install, this field will be empty. You can add several joysticks to it. Just press add and another joystick will appear. After you've installed PPJoy, you can start the Hydra Direct Input Wrapper. On the left, you see the Direct Input Wrapper. By default, the left controller will be bound to joystick 1 and the right controller bound to joystick 2. Unfortunately, uh, Dolphin does not differentiate between two different joysticks, so we'll need to bind every function onto one joystick. Therefore, we have 16 buttons and 8 axes. You can just select what you want. You can also load presets. I've already made one for the Nunchuck and one for the Remote, which fits to a profile I have for the Dolphin emulator. Um, the Nunchuck has analog X and Y axis for the analog stick and one for wiggling it around. And the remote has all the buttons and axis for rotation, pitch, roll and front and back. Once you've configured the input wrapper, you need to select the virtual joystick from the devices and you can start binding the buttons. I've also made a profile. All of these will be in the description. So you have the buttons and tilting for the remote and an analog stick tilting into buttons for the nunchuck. So let's see it all in game. As you can see, everything is analog. You can move around slowly or a little faster. This really helps out in many situations. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.